Hey guys, Gamer of Gamers in the Zone, and welcome to another episode of Toho 2 Story of Eastern Wonderland. In the last episode, we had finally managed to score one of the three good endings. So, like every episode, we have another informal comment from our wonderful pal Freezing Time. Uh, this week's comment, he says, Hi again, Gamer of Gamers. Sorry for being a little late here. I was feeling sick because of COVID, but I'm starting to feel better, so here we go. Congrats on beating your first 1cc in Toho 2. I thought it will take you two or three episodes, but you did it in one. So you want to continue with Rainbow Wave. Well, are you sure? I understand that uh, stages are hard in Toho 2, like everything else, but do not forget about bosses such as Marisa and Mima. With Reimu A, you will always deal some damage to them, but this damage will be low. Reimu C, on the other hand, has a lot of damage. On max power, her spread is like Marisa A. Uh, in Toho 6, uh, which is not bad, I would suggest you try beating it with Reimu C first. So if you think you have a better chance with Reimu A, then play with Reimu A. You will beat the game as everyone either way. Yes, there are a lot of official books and mangas written by Zun, though he's um, not the one doing artwork. I can suggest some if interested, though if that'll be the case, then what do you want, uh, want me to suggest books? Mangas or both? And yeah, it was my mistake. I went between 2000 and 2002, not 200. Huh. Surprisingly good analogy with Sonic. I would even say perfect one. I actually forgot what I said with Sonic. I'll have to go back and look at that video to remember when I said that. I don't pay too much attention to these recordings. I haven't gotten that far yet in the video editing classes. Despite it being my third year of college, it's strange, but I'm sure we'll get to the good stuff eventually. Now it's Mima. Mima is an evil spirit who wants to take revenge on humanity for unknown reasons, and as you saw in this episode, wants to use the power of Yin Yang orbs of Hakurei's shrine. Though to me, it's funny what power it was in Reimu's ending. I think if Mima knew that was the whole case the Toho 2 wouldn't even happen in the first place. As we know, since Toho 2, uh, Mima has a faithful disciple, Marisa Kirisame, who she started teaching magic in Makai. Uh, you can see that Marisa even uses some of her attacks, uh, the more chaotic though more chaotic, or using orbs as proper shields, while Mima just throws them around. Also interesting, but in fighting games, you can see that Marisa still uses them to this day. That's all for today. Good luck and take care. Alright. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get started on the, uh, this week's episode of Toho 2, Story of Eastern Wonderland. Let's go. Of course, gotta wait for me to get back to the main menu screen. Come on. Alright. Let's go. We've managed to clear the defensive type, leaving only the highly mobile type and the offensive type. So, Freezing Time suggested that I uh, do the offensive type that relies highly on the Yang Yang Orb. So, that's what I'm gonna go with for this episode if he thinks it's easier this way. I did say I was open to suggestions if you felt like I'd have an easier time with a different shot type. And uh, that's what I'm doing if you think I'll do better with the the highly offensive type. And of course I miss the power. And I miss the power again. Every time it's always missing the power. And then... There we go. Still not enough power to get the first level up. Come on. There we go. So you're saying this is like uh, Marisa uh, A or B? I, for I forget the exact saying. Nonetheless, we're we'll still be quite powerful. 
I forget if these tanks drop anything or not. They don't. Okay, so... Not much of a reason to go after them, then, since all they're really gonna be dropping is points. Alright, first mid-boss. Fairly simple stuff. Ah, missed. Okay, take that. I'm trying to be careful, because like I don't want it to be like a couple of my previous runs where I I have try too hard to get underneath them so I can land a hit on them, but then I get hit myself instead. Especially with the fact that, uh, despite me needing a lot of power early on, not a lot of enemy enemies in the early on stages actually drop power, so it's... Makes it to where I do want to play it kind of safe. enemies to go. Alright, gotta take care of the more annoying ones first. They're kind of being a bit of a nuisance. Alright, so that definitely looks reasonably powerful so far, and we're not even at full power yet. Move this around. Alright, so like always, we pretty much know the full story at this point. Unless the dialogue is somehow ever so slightly different with the different shot types. Which I'd highly doubt it. For this being one of the first... Uh... One of the first, uh, shoot 'em up style Toho games. I don't know why I forgot the exact naming there for a moment. Oh! I forgot to stay to the side there. I know it's possible to stand directly in the middle there, but I'd rather play it safe. Alright, then we just gotta take them down. I would say they don't really go down as easy as they did with a defensive type. Um, then again, I'm not at full power yet, so we'll see how powerful exactly this gets when we get to that point. Oh, jeez, don't walk in right into the bullets right on the second stage. I mean, definitely better than the first stage, but still, though, I am not a fan of dying early on. Okay. Grab as much power as you can. That sound for? Can't exactly tell. Okay, watch where you're going. And of course, I get an email notification right as I'm in the middle of recording. I know college is supposed to be busy and all, but still, though. I did not get that many notifications during the weekend, but here we are. I was told that, uh... I know it's only the second stage, but I was told these stages would be reasonably hard with the offensive type. Yet, uh, this run doesn't seem that bad so far. Okay, what do we got next? I got more of the regular enemies. Don't get careless with the power. They still really aren't dropping a whole lot of power, so... Shouldn't try to get too careless trying to 
go for getting more power. Okay, boss time. Fairly close to full power, we're one level below full power. Now I think I remember the rule that I had was that I was okay if, with dying at least once. I think that was the rule I had, uh, instinct. I didn't mean I actually wanted to get killed there. Yikes. Come on. I was just making a statement. Well, like I said, I I'm fine with dying once, but no more than that. This is where they start... Oh wait, no, not yet, okay. No, I thought this was the... I, I feel like they're not going down very fast. Compared to, like, the defensive type. Because I thought the whole point of the offensive type was that, uh, it was supposed to be... I am pressing the bomb button. I don't know what's happening there. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm restarting. I, I can't handle a defeat on only... No, I'm not continuing. I, I, I've made clear before that I can't hand... I, I know that I'm not going to make it very far if I'm dying, like, multiple times in the early on stages, so... I'm not accepting any deaths early on, so... I'm calling a restart. I didn't see that there was two of them there at... No, I'd like to just, uh, start over. Definitely annoying that I have to put up with having to go through all that selection just to get another shot at this and not waste, go wasting my time. I know it's definitely not as useful as the, um, Oh, I just picked up a bomb. Now, if only I were to actually use it. Since I don't really use bombs very much in the early on stages. If I die once, then basically that's a bunch of bombs being put to waste. Managed to score one good ending. I know I can get the other two. It's possible. One thing I still haven't figured out yet. I, I am still going to be going with normal difficulty, but I've noticed that uh, in the uh, selection screen there was no difficulty option. So, is there like somewhere else I'm supposed to go to alter the difficulty? Like in the options or something? Or is that something where it's like, I have to get all the endings on normal mode or something in order to be able to adjust the difficulty. I don't... Oh no, I, I'm... I'll try to get reasonably far in this. At least have one full run with this particular shot type, but I think if I don't feel like I'm getting very far with it or dealing that much damage to bosses, I do think I, I might go as far as to just uh, to stick with the highly mobile type. 
since I kind of feel like I'm going to be having an easier time with the highly mobile type, rather than the offensive type, which I'm sure has some usefulness, but uh, here... I don't feel like it's really dealing that much damage. Now, I know it's only the early on stages, and I haven't exactly achieved full power yet. But I, again, I do kind of feel like not taking them out as quickly. And the whole point of this is, like, that, like, makes the stage harder, but allows me to take out the bosses easier. Now, yeah, I know you have to remain directly under them at all times, but... In you know, lots of cases during a fight like this, I, I am hanging out underneath a boss most of the time, and it does seem like yeah, I should be doing fine. Here, how about this? Seeing how our already reasonable number of attempts in this episode, how about I keep going with this particular run just so I can see what it's going to be like up ahead with this particular shot type. Uh, so I can see if I'm gonna enjoy this more, or sh if I should stick with the, uh, highly mobile type. I take that back. I I'm quite disappointed in that mistake. I'm, s I'm restarting again. No, don't continue. I, uh, no, I n never mind. Let's just... Alright, last attempt with the offensive type, and then I'm going to go back to doing the highly mobile type. Just because I feel like I'm going to be more comfortable with that shot type compared to what I'm dealing with here. I know it probably just takes some getting used to, but uh, I'm not liking this. It's feeling like it's taking a lot longer to take out bosses, as well as... Uh, just, just not being a very fun shot type to use. Get over here. Okay, good. Picking up power like normally now. I'll probably be doing what I did last time, where if it's like over an hour and I'm still not getting any, uh, getting very far because I keep dying early on, I may just, uh, try going for a full run or something and then just, if I'm still, ha if I still can't win with the full run, then just call it an episode there, because I'm only going to be more frustrated if that's the case. Because I'd say once per episode, I at least want one shot with some of the later on stuff in the game. Except I'm not resorting to continues, because not really much of a reason to keep going if I'm going to be resorting to continues. Ah, I missed the power. I forget, didn't one of these ghosts drop a bomb at one point? I forget. Also, I'm not getting my hands on any power. I thought there was a point where certain enemies drop a, a certain amount of power. I know I pretty much mastered the first stage at this point. Seeing how, like, the only times I'm really dying is, like, on the second stage. And... At that point where I'm just getting disappointed again. You know, I should be happy that, uh... Uh, earlier this week, I had managed to, uh... Uh, for those of you who have been paying attention, have, have managed to get all the remaining good endings in Toho 11. And yeah, Freezing Time, I don't know if you saw that yet, but last Friday streaming, 
Not sure if you got confused with the fact that you were seeing Hollow Knight in the thumbnail, but because I did also play some Hollow Knight that stream, but last Friday streaming I did play Toho 11 and get the remaining good endings, and attempted to do the extra stage a little bit. Got... Uh, I'm not exactly sure how far I got into the boss with some of my best attempts, but... Yeah, there was a point where I was just kind of getting tired of it and moved on to Hollow Knight. As for this game, I'm kind of now given a choice here that now that I've finished Toho 11, I could just uh, go back to the, the, the modern games and uh, take a break from the retro games. I'm sure I'll... I, I, what would you suggest, Freezing Time? Seeing how I've already started with the retro games, um, should I just stick with it uh, and try and finish the retro collection? Or should I just uh, go ahead and move on to Toho 12 now that I've gotten the remaining good endings in Toho 11? Because either one works for me. Uh... I know the a lot of the story from these retro games aren't that big of a deal. I know, yeah, as you've told me before, they are canon, but at the same time, it's like not really talked about these days. Despite people begging Zun to put Mima in a modern Toho game. Oh, jeez, I need to be paying more attention. Some of these effects makes it hard to see those kind of bullets. Thankfully, I have ninja reflexes. And it was because of that that I was able to, uh... react on time. So that's really the only way you're able to do well without bombing your way through stuff in this game, is having ninja reflexes. A lot of the attacks are mainly just involve the element of surprise and you having to be ready for it. Almost maybe a bit of stupid stuff involved. Which is kind of why some parts of this game, yeah, like, you really, really your only way through is by bombing your way through it. Are we playing Galaga here or something? Let's go. Or no, not Galaga. Like Space Invaders. What am I doing? What am I? Okay, that's it. We're already 20 minutes into this video. I'm gonna go back to the highly mobile type because I feel like I'm gonna be more comfortable with that. I know I didn't get very far that I was really able to observe how effective the offensive type is at full power. On some bosses, I'll probably be able to hit well with it. Uh, but I, I just feel like within the moment that I'm going to be more comfortable with the highly mobile type. But yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you think would be the better option. If I should, since I've already started the retro era of Toho games, if I should finish them. Well, except Toho 1, since that one, I don't think the good endings are that important to get. From what I've been told by Freezing Time. Um... But in terms of the remaining retro era Toho games, I don't know, it'll be up to you to decide if I should go for them or not. So I, I'm letting you make the decision on this since I'm in a state where I'm unsure what I want to do. Because at the same time, I'm having certain frustrations with this, uh, but also feeling like it would at least possible if I put enough time and effort into it. What infuriates me is, like, having to go through all this again, the entire first stage all over again, when, like, you already know you have plenty of skill to easily have the first stage mastered. Like, you guys have seen that, you know, I'm doing quite well. And, that, and this is, like, what it's like for a lot of Toho games. Just, like, always having to do the easy stuff early on, which just feels at this point kind of tedious and a waste of time having to do something you already know you're good at again just to get back to the harder stuff. With 
no checkpoints. I know for some players, even this easy stuff may not be that easy, but for me and my knowledge of Toho games, I do feel like it's a little bit insulting having to constantly do the easy stuff every time. Yeah, because at least here in... I know that, yeah, the whole point of this shot type is the fact that it makes the regular part of the stage easier. But at the same time, I just feel like having this particular shot type is just a lot more fun to use. Since I do feel like I have a bit more freedom with this particular shot type. Again, I'm sure I'm missing out on some hidden potential within the offensive type, but right now, not really in the mood. Alright, just uh, hang out over here while the uh, mobile type does its thing. I can still get some reasonable amount of damage in, and I, I, I honestly feel like I'm taking them out faster here for what's supposed to be the shot type that's supposed to take a while to take out the bosses. I feel like I'm taking it out at a much faster pace than what I was doing with the offensive type. For a shot type that's supposed to be called the offensive type, doesn't feel very offensive. It feels, uh, kind of weak. Quite disappointing, if you ask me. Then again, the true power of the Yin Yang Orbs is... freaking Aroma. Mo an aroma tool. So it's like... Which is clearly not even that strong. It's like... So it makes sense that a shot type that highly relies on the yin yang orbs would be weak. I mean, if you think about it, it's kind of like some shows I've seen where, like, there's, you know, like this uh, goddess or something uh, that they have as a character. And then it turns out at one point, or showing some examples of instances where those goddesses actually, like, aren't that strong despite the fact that they're supposed to be goddesses and stuff. Like, a good example of an instant like that would be, I think it was like, I forget the exact, uh, uh, name, but it was like one on, like, this overly cautious hero, where, like, this hero that has, like, ridiculously high stats, but, like, one specific trait being that, um, they are overly cautious about literally everything. And I think there's, like, a point where I think, like, some highly powerful enemy invades the goddess realm that, uh, they end up having to, uh, they basically, basically all of every single god and goddess there ends up getting absolutely destroyed uh, by it. And I think, like, um, uh, I think it was, like, the goddess of, like, war or something, or, like, a Valkyrie goddess was the only one that was legitimately able to defeat them. Only because they had, like, they're specifically designed to have the highest stats. Alright, anyway. Uh, point being that, uh... Yeah, lots of games seem to, like, take these, like, forces of power, like, uh, treating it like they're supposed to be immensely powerful, only for it to turn out that, like, it's actually incredibly weak and, like, their real power is, like, totally pointless. Alright, we got the, uh, streaming attack out of the way from a variety of directions. Here, uh, okay, I was able to navigate that just fine. 
Oh, what? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, at least a unique bomb type animation uh, for a different shot type. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I kind of got scared. I swear I hit the bomb button there. I'm having that instance again where it's like, even though it clearly, I clearly pressed the bomb button and it looks like I, I used the bomb button before I got hit, somehow the game registers that I got hit before activating the bomb. And that's something that really is getting on my nerves. Because I am certain that I'm hitting the bomb button before... I don't care what you say, Freezing Time, I still feel like I'm having an easier time with these bosses than I was with the, um, offensive type. Most of these just require- I was literally about to say most of these just require me to be directly under her the whole time, and then I immediately get hit while being directly underneath her. I, I am not really not doing good this episode. I'm just going to continue just because we're already at 30 minutes and I'd really like to have at least one full run where I run out of lives. It's definitely going to be putting at me at a major disadvantage for the later on stuff, but at this point, I want to have a full run this episode, and this is it right here. If I run out of lives any point this run, I'm going to end the episode here. All the power I'm missing. You know, there's plenty of things I could have been doing tonight as well at the time I've been recording. Could have taken the time to do some laundry. Could have taken the time to probably get some textbook readings in, because I know some of my classes have been putting a high emphasis on taking the time to read my textbooks. So I could definitely be taking some time tonight to really be trying to do that. At least some of these mid-bosses are easy, are easy. Of course, I say that then there's Stage 4's mid-boss, which I know I need bombs for in order to stand a fighting chance on. All ears, freezing time. Just tell me some good strategies and some maybe which game I should play next. If I should keep going at it with the retro games or if I should take a break from the retro now that I can finally move on to Toho 12. Just say the word and uh, I'll gladly pick one because I'm leaving this decision up to you since I can't really think of anything at the moment and... Both options feel possible, just that within this particular moment, within this specific game, I'm just having some specific frustrations in a moment where I'm not 100% in the mood to be recording. Oh yeah, so anyway, I start with the uh, semi-middle orbs first. Still don't know how this stuff is scarier than everything else we've been up against in these games. I mean, compared to the stuff I've seen, compared to what Reimu's been up against, I honestly don't see how Reimu could find something like this scary. I know this isn't normally how you're supposed to do streaming attacks, I'm just kind of doing whatever at this point. Alright, here we go. Get the big power. Middle orb's gonna open, and then I gotta be ready for those beams to come in. 
where I'm never clear exactly where those beams are going to be firing, so I'll just use a bomb there. I know this part quite well, that I at least have some decent experience to master this part, and know exactly when the, the only real times to use bombs are. I swear I avoided that correctly. I knew exactly what I was doing, yet somehow I still got hit. Uh. Alright, then this attack. Stick to the edges, yep. What am I doing? Okay, yep, yep, I know to, you, to bomb here. I at least know some decently good positions to use bombs when necessary. Alright, there we go. Got an extra life. Don't know how far I'm gonna get with this, though, seeing how it's only one more extra life. Now, maybe if I'm gonna time my bombs, maybe it's possible to get reasonably far, but considering the fact that it took me, like, all of my extra lives to get the good ending with the defensive type, I don't think I'm gonna be making it through this episode. Don't see it happening. And watch, I, I'm totally betting you guys that the one comment Freezing Time is gonna leave is telling me, is like, gonna be to beg me to go back to the highly offensive type. I'm telling you, that's totally what he's gonna say. I know that's what he's gonna say. He claims that the reason why I'm doing bad is because it's actually gonna be easier to go with the offensive type, even though it clearly looked like I was doing worse with the offensive type. Alright, here we go. Got this annoying opponent. That's reasonably manageable until they unleash that attack. I mainly know what they're gonna unleash, though, at this point, that it's like I'm ready for it. At least. Okay, except I wasn't ready for that. I'll admit. I wasn't expecting them to do the beam attack twice. Every time I think I'm getting some experience on something. It's always these moments like these where it's just like, yeah, no, you're actually still really bad at the game. Your last good go was probably just beginner's luck. And I'm certain that's... I mean... My ranking did say that I was technically still bad at the game. So I guess my skills in this particular episode is still in line of that opinion that was made with my skill level last episode, is that I am still technically not very good at the game. It's pretty much, yeah, kind of the only reason why I even managed to win the game last episode was because I was reasonably good with my bomb usage. No, I'm not getting hit again right before I get to where the boss is. Yeah, no, that ain't happening. We're going into this. Alright, Marisa time. Let's go. Time for pain and frustration. Let's go. Yep, orb time. Ha! Oh, I can't actually harm her during... And, of course, she unleashes that particular attack. Something I clearly wasn't ready for. And I accidentally wasted bomb. Already off to a very bad start. Alright, and then she's gonna unleash... Okay, an attack. Close. Okay, one orb down. Two orbs down. One orb left. Come on, take out that last orb. Take it out. There we go. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. I'm still not fully sure if she has, like, unique attacks, um, depending on which shot type I'm using. 
her, and then she's gonna unleash some reasonably powerful. Ah, I thought she was closing them there. Or at least it was a full run, so I'm willing to type in my full name here. Or the best I can do, since I'm very limited on the amount of letters I can put in for my name. And no, I'm not continuing. I'm ending this episode here because I'm kind of not in the mood to be doing this right now. I'm only, I only recorded this so I could have a, an episode of Toho to upload for this week. Because I only record these on a weekly basis because I want to make sure I get the, uh info from freezing time on my most recent video before recording the next video so I can talk about it in my next video so it's like right now I'm in a position where I don't want to record this and I'm only recording because I have to that's the situation I'm in right now so I'm gonna be done for this episode since I've done the minimum amount of recording time that I feel is satisfactory for a full video so with that, uh, I know it was a bit of a disappointing episode, seeing such a hindrance in skill after how amazing I did last episode, but uh, with how this game works, that's kind of how it goes sometimes. So with that being said, uh, thank you everyone for watching, and put up with the, had to, even though you had to put up with a lot of pain this episode. We'll see if it happens again or not, or if I'm even gonna be continuing with this game or just going ahead and moving on to Toho 12 now that I can, now that I found, finally got the remaining good endings in Toho 11. I'll definitely be talking about it with freezing time. So with that being said, thank you everyone for watching, uh, and until next time, this is the Gamer of Gamers, and stay excellent everyone!